I could have kept listening to that all day. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Same. When I walked past yesterday, I touched you because I had a feeling it was your weekend. I saw personal best. Yeah. And that really gave me an insight into your last couple of years, man. Mm. Like, it's been hard. It's been tough, man. Um, I think it makes a victory more sweeter, sweeter though. I mean, when you've been through hardships, without saying, I'm not trying to sound like too bad, but when you've been through hardships and it's been a hard road to the top, it's, it's all that much sweeter. I've got a lot of my family here today, 11, 11 members of my family, my granddad flew over from Canada just for this race. So, I mean, I'm someone that's always thrived with pressure. I like pressure. It makes me perform well. And today couldn't have gone any better. I remember last year when you came across the line, you were so disappointed not to win it. Yeah. And, then, and obviously, Christian was so elated, yeah, so yeah. role reversal this yeah. year. I mean, feel good. Yeah, my, it feels good, man. I mean, last year, obviously, I came up for bending first place. Mm. I had a couple of meetings with Christian and he pulled me back. I think that was an experience and lack of strength last year. So, training into this year, I've worked a lot on my last 50 in the 200. So, a lot more 250 reps, 300s in training, just to give me that extra bit of endurance at the end. And today, it paid off. What's helped to keep your mind right? Obviously, rehabilitation for mm. the body is one thing. What's helped to keep your mind right over the last couple of years? Um, just staying grounded, I think. I've kept myself, I haven't changed nothing. Apart from training full time, I haven't changed nothing in my life. So I still, I'm still around the same people, I still around my family. My family keep me grounded, they don't treat me like I'm special or anything like that. And I've just got to stay hungry. I think the minute you lose the hunger and get complacent, that's when things don't go your way. And I think I'm so hungry for this year, um, knowing the amount of time and effort and my mum put my mum and my family put into it. And uh, driving me up and down as a, as a child coming to different competitions. Well, if this if it's going to be, uh, well, it's got to be this year, and it'll make up for all the other years of disappointment. You must be looking forward to it now. Though. I can't wait now. What do you reckon you can do? I can make a final. I definitely can make a final. Um, again, the crowd, the atmosphere. I think this. Is, I said if, if I can win the trials this year, it's a start. My, the official start to my career. Last year was a stepping stone for this year. And I said if I can. If I can win, win this year's trials, that will solidify my place as one of Britain's top sprinters. Where to next? Where to next? Where? Europeans tomorrow. I'm going to go out there just for the relay now, so I can, I've got my automatic spot, so I can just relax. Hopefully bring back a gold. I don't see why Britain shouldn't bring back a gold. And then back here for about 10 days, training, holding camp, then the games, isn't it? Where's that medal going to go? Woo! This is going to go on my bed. I'll see it every night and I'll kiss it when I go to sleep. Well done. Well